Hi friends, I am Farhan and you are watching Digi Mastery channel. This is Microsoft Excel series. A pivot table is a powerful tool in Excel that allows you to organize and summarize large amount of data. By using pivot table, you can easily generate a report within 15 to 30 seconds. In this tutorial, I am only say to you that if you are zero in pivot table, at the end of this video, you will expert in pivot table. In this video, I am going to explain pivot table with best examples from beginner to advanced level. No need to watch other videos on pivot table. Let's start. Before you create pivot table, you have better understanding with dataset. In this dataset, we have fields like serial number, date, salesman, item, company, unit, rate, and total sale. Select this dataset or click inside dataset. Go to insert tab. Here you can see pivot table option. Click on this option. You can see this information box. In table, oblique range. You can see all data set range selected. Choose where you want the pivot table to be placed. If we select existing worksheet option and select this cell. Now pivot table start from this cell. Now here we select new worksheet. Our pivot table create in new worksheet. Press OK. You can see pivot table create on new worksheet. On left side our pivot table creates here. On right side you can see pivot table fields. In pivot table fields you can see all data set headings here. Now in bottom you can see filters, columns, row and values boxes. You can drag this pivot table fields like this. If we remove this pivot table fields, what we will do to get back? Click inside pivot table. You can see pivot table analyze tab over here. Click on this tab. And select this option. Now you can see field list here. Show total sales of item wise. First example. Now we create a simple report through pivot table. The criteria is show total sale on item wise. First select item and drag it down to row box. Click on total sales field and drag it down to value box. Now you can see item wise total sales. In item, all data is unique. You can see how easily we create report according to our requirement. Now if we drag this item field to column box. How table change horizontally show data. We move it back to row this item fields. Only thing that you know, if you have numeric values in dataset, you must drag it to value box always. We just drag item and total sales field and our report is generated. Total hard disk sales is show here. If we double click on this you can see all hard disk sale record appear here in new worksheet. Now if we want to see all detail of monitor, just double click on this. You can see all detail of monitor sales record. Now if you want 
to clear this report. First method is just uncheck this item and total. Second method is drag it back to field. And third method is just click drop down over here and select this remove field option. Now you can see our report is clear. Now move to second example of pivot table. Now if we want company wise item total sales, click on item and drag it to column box. Click on company field and drag it to row box. And total sale drag to value box. You can see report is generated. Dial company have items, keyboard, monitor, mouse, RAM, Dell keyboard sales record. There is no record of Dell monitor sale. If we double click on LG monitor sales, you can see all report of LG monitor. You can double click on any item sales to see all detail record. Now if we want number of sales transaction of each company item. To change formula just click on any of these cells, right click and go to summarize value by and select count option. Now you can see how many transaction of sales occurs of each company item. You can also apply average, max, minimum product function according to calculation requirement. Now if you want zero in all blank cells, just right click inside table and select pivot table option. Click here layout and format tab. And in this box, we enter 0. Remain this check mark and press OK. Now you can see all black cells fill with 0. Now if you want to remove this grand total from row and column. For this, just click inside table, go to design tab and here you see grand total. Click this drop down. Now select first option. You can see grand total is removed from this pivot table. Now if you want to remove this pivot table in one action. Go to pivot table analyze. Select this action option and click on clear all. In one action all the pivot table is clear. Now move to example number 3 of pivot table. Now the criteria is I want to see item sales in percentage. Click on item and drag it down to row box. Second click total sales drag it down to value box. Now you can see simple report. Click inside table and right click and go to show values as and select percentage of column total. Now you can see item sales in percentage out of 100%. You can see how easily we do this in pivot table without using any formula. Now if I want to show number of transaction also. For this again drag total sales field to values. Right click inside table and go to summarize value by and select count. Here you can see number of sales record count. Now if you also want to see total sales, just click on total sales and again drag it to value box. Now you can see hard disk sales 31% number of transaction 6 and total sales record. 
if you want to change this table headings you can also do like this now if you want to rank this total sales for this just drag total sales into the value box and right click inside table and go to show values as and select from these two options smallest to largest and largest to smallest I am going to select rank smallest to largest select this item here and press ok you can see smallest value number 1 and highest value here number 5 you can see this report if we want to print this report we can just press Ctrl plus P you can see just pivot table values show no need to show data set when you send this report to others how cool is this this is part one of pivot table to see more example on pivot table you can see part two i hope you will enjoy this video subscribe to my youtube channel that is appreciation from your site like and comment I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.